video and playing a video on Microsoft Access form. Therefore, you open Microsoft Access and create a table. Uh, this table will have three things uh, video ID, video name, and the video rank. Then you can uh, make this one auto number and primary key. Then you save your table with us. Then after doing so, you uh, open the table and feed the feed the table. This, our first video will be will be called make 001, then make 002, then make 003. Those are the names. Then we take the video links and feed the video links here. You just go to where your videos are. My videos are in my videos. Then you right click, you go to properties. Then you take the link. Once you take the link, you paste the link. Uh, press now the name of the video. It is 0.mp4. That is my first video. Just copy this one because they are in the same location. Uh, they are in the same location. I only change now the video title. Uh, the video link. This is 2. Uh, this is one. Therefore, uh, this is how now my table looks like. These are the video links. Then after doing so, I close this one and uh, can verify that data is there. Therefore, if I go to my videos uh, folder, you get that I have uh, half 0.mp4, 1.mp4, 2.mp4. Therefore, the next step is to create a blank form. Therefore, I just go to create, then I click on blank form. Now, this blank form of mine, I can just go to design view and then assign some color like that one. Then, after doing so, I need to play, I need to draw a list box. Therefore, before doing so, I can save my form. I can just call it the video. Then I go to design. Then after going to design, I need to uh, go to where the list box is. Therefore, this is the list box. I take this uh, that icon. If I just go to this point and uh, take the list box and then draw uh, my list box. Then once I do that, list box wizard will open. I just uh, choose uh, this option or leave it the way it is. That is, I want the list box to get the values from another table or query. Then I go to next, next. Then at this point, I send everything to the right. Next. Then at this point, I choose the I choose the video name. If I choose the video name, this one. Then uh, choose video name. Then next. Therefore, at this point, you leave this chat. Just go to next. Then uh, we can just uh, call this one. We can change the name. We add letter R and to have it list box. Then finish. Now, once I do finish, I can test and see what I have. You can see uh, I have two columns, and, and I, on, I only need one. I only need one column. Now uh, you see I have two columns. You see I have two columns here. You see I have two columns, but I really need on the one. I don't need the link to be seen. Therefore, I just go back to design view. Once I go to design view, I double click on the list box. Therefore, this dialog box is open. I go to format. Uh, I go to format. To, on this point here, I got format. Then I focus on this. I will change uh, this one to two and this to zero, just to make it to make two columns. Then, therefore, I will go to this point, change that one to zero, and then change that one to two. Therefore, if you are very keen, you have seen what I have done. This one, I have changed this one to two and the zero the other. Then I save my form and then see what I have so far. 
uh, you'll notice that uh, I have the I have one column so far now I have one column then after doing that the next step is to draw the media prayer I need to draw the media prayer uh, just below my list box therefore I go to design then once I go to design I go to this point uh, here this one I choose active X controls therefore you do that I just go to active X controls then from the active X control I will choose media sprayer if I will just scroll down until I get uh, that is media prayer therefore this is what I want I choose the media prayer then I click on OK therefore you have seen that uh, media prayer uh, media prayer has been inserted therefore this is the media prayer I'm talking about then I can resize my media prayer to a recommended size that way then I continue and save my work I can see what so far I have this is my list of videos they will play in the media prayer therefore after doing so I can still resize this one That way, then you see what I have. Okay, this is what I have. Then, uh, after doing so, okay, after doing that, uh, then I need to go to uh, this list box and write the code. But before you go to coding, remember the name of the this the name of the list box is list, uh, list box 0 when I click this one you will see the name the name is media player 2 therefore I double click this one then in this properties dialog box I go to event then I focus on after update after update then this is where I write my uh, one sentence code that will make everything uh, functional therefore I just write to me dot uh, media prayer it will actually come this is what i have dot media prayer to dot url equals now equals to my list box so that it is equals to list box zero therefore you can hands it is just coming by itself dot now quorum the quorum i have i am using quorum two you remember i put value two Therefore, this is the code. I'll drop this code in my, uh, that is in my, in my comment zone. This is the code uh, that will actually make everything function. Therefore, mark that code. Uh, it is just an explanation, it's just an equation of the text box and the media prayer. Therefore, after now doing this, everything is now complete. You only need now to close this one, uh, save your work and run. Therefore, if I click on, okay, by default, Microsoft Office saves every, uh, code 25, this point here. If I have this type, therefore, you have seen that everything is working fine uh, and there is no much difficulty in that one. Therefore, thank you very much for watching. Always remember to subscribe.